Any kind of expectation creates a problem. We should accept, but not expect. Whatever comes, accept it. Whatever goes, accept it. The immediate benefit is that your mind is always peaceful. Let us accept all the different paths as different rivers running toward the same ocean. Yoga believes in transforming the individual before transforming the world. Whatever change we want to happen outside should happen within. If you walk in peace and express that peace in your very life, others will see you and learn something. Peace comes not from doing, but from undoing. Not from getting, but from letting go. Though we can't always see it at the time, if we look upon events with some perspective, we see things always happen for our best interests. We are always being guided in a way better than we know ourselves. You are the cause of your own joy or your own misery. You hold that power. You are your own friend and your own enemy. If your heart is beautiful, your face will be beautiful, your life will be beautiful, everything will be beautiful. Anything that you throw comes back. All your actions are echoes. The light is within. It is already there. Take your time to see it. Never give up. Nothing is done overnight. Anyone who achieved anything in life always did it after many failures. Don't give up hope. If you are becoming more easeful, peaceful, and useful, then you know you are growing. Who will be the happiest person? The one who brings happiness to others. Do you want to know the secret of life? If you want to have everything, don't want anything. Everything will run after you. Now will never leave. It is always here. Like a clear canvas, it awaits our painting. The greatest victory you can win is over your own mind. As you are, you see everything else. True love knows no bargains. It is one-way traffic. Giving, giving, giving. Death can come at any minute, in any way. We do not know what is in store tomorrow, or whether there is a tomorrow, or even a tonight. But still, we have the golden present. Now we are alive and kicking. What should we do now? Love all, serve all. Begin with little things daily, and one day, you will be doing things, that months back you would have thought impossible. Don't depend on something that comes from outside. Outside things are never going to make you happy. The stones of a river start out rough, but with the current continually bumping and polishing them, they end up being beautiful. One truth, many paths. 
You are not given the light by anyone. Not even by a spiritual teacher. You are that light. Every pain has a gain behind it. Don't give up your power to change things. Negativity and unhappiness are caused by you. You can change your attitude. Give up the drop and gain the whole ocean. Music is the celestial sound, and it is sound that controls the whole universe, not atomic vibrations. Sound energy, sound power, is much, much greater than any other power in the world. Calming the mind is yoga, not just standing on the head. Truth is the same always. Whoever ponders it, will get the same answer. Buddha got it. Patanjali got it. Jesus got it. Muhammad got it. The answer is the same, but the method of working it out may vary this way or that. God knows your breaking point. You simply don't know your own strength. Our own true nature is infinite joy. Always happy, always peaceful, always free. Mere philosophy will not satisfy us. We cannot reach the goal by mere words alone. Without practice, nothing can be achieved. Not only does charity begin at home. Everything begins at home, including spirituality. Everything begins in the mind. If you want to see clearly, you need clear vision. We can see the same spirit in everybody, only when we know we are that spirit, Atman or Self. Only a person who has understood his own self can see that self in everybody. The moment you understand yourself as the true self, you find such peace and bliss, that the impressions of the petty enjoyments you experienced before, become as ordinary specks of light in front of the brilliant sun. Yoga is not only learning to stand on your head, but also learning to stand on your feet. Equality comes in realizing that we are all doing different jobs for a common purpose. That is the aim behind any community. The very name community means let's come together to recognize the unity. Come. Unity. We can be serene even in the midst of calamities, and, by our serenity, make others more tranquil. Just as a little bird cracks open the shell and flies out, we fly out of this shell, the shell of the body. We call that death, but strictly speaking, death is nothing but a change of form. The period between 4 and 6 in the morning, is called the Brahmamyahata, the Brahmic time, or divine period, and is a very sacred time to meditate. Just do. Leave it there. If it comes let it come, but don't look for it. At various points in our lives, or on a quest, and for reasons, that often remain obscure, we are driven to make decisions, which prove with hindsight, to be loaded with meaning. 
yoga began with the first person wanting to be healthy and happy all the time. The purification of the mind is very necessary. The dedicated ever enjoys supreme peace. Therefore, live only to serve. When even one virtue becomes our nature, the mind becomes clean and tranquil. Then there is no need to practice meditation we will automatically be meditating always. Yoga believes in transforming the individual before transforming the world. In not only the physical science, but in the real mental silence, the wisdom dawns. Food should be a love offering. If we only look within, we will see he light, as if we were seeing our own image in a mirror. You don't need to live a celibate life, if you don't want to. But set limits. Sexual energy, when stored, will build the brain and nerves. So, for the preservation of that vitality, you should limit your sexual life, Sometimes if you state the plain truth in plain language, you hurt the other person, and you get hurt as well. We have to learn how to communicate. Happiness is not be sought outside. It can never come from outside or from inside, because it simply is. It is always. Where? everywhere. The losses are always great eye-openers. Pleasures never open our eyes. It's only through pain that we learn our weaknesses. If you can control the rising of the mind into ripples, you will experience yoga. we should give more and more and more chances for people to grow. Learn to live harmoniously. That is where the real joy and peace lie. Yield not to weakness. It does not suit you. Shake off this petty faithedness. Stand up, scorcher of foes, wake up. So build up the body, build up the nerves, and build up the mind, until your faith is so strong there is no fear at all, and you are the master.